your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Man, it was a great day to get out for a walk, at least here. Not so much in the northern plains. Check it out. This, these are images taken just a couple hours ago. North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, and Wyoming, parts of each state dealing with blizzard conditions. So they're dealing with snow. Meanwhile, we're sweating it out. A live look at Virginia Tech and Blacksburg. Things are looking beautiful here as we get uh, closer and closer to sunset. Still 80 degrees. By the way, the first 80 degree day so far this year in Blacksburg. Not much to show for it. It hasn't been terribly humid. Just a few fair weather cumulus clouds as you go west of the Blue Ridge Parkway. But that's about it for the rest of the evening. We stay clear for the rest of the evening, so we should have a good view of the recently launched SpaceX Starlink satellite train. So that's this weekend. That's more or less what it's going to look like coming in from the northwest and flying to the southeast. Now we have two opportunities to see this. The first tonight at about 841, lasting for about five minutes. The second opportunity at about 854 tomorrow night coming in from the northwest and lasting for about four minutes. So if you do get to see that, make sure you send it our way on either pin it on our weather app or to our social media platforms. Overnight, temperatures don't drop a whole lot. We're between about 55 and 60 degrees first thing tomorrow morning. Just a sign of things to come as we head throughout the day Sunday. If you plan on hitting the links once again, the best time is first thing in the morning with temperatures in the low to mid 60s. We warm very quickly, though, feeling like summer in more ways than one. The UV index is once again going to be very high, so all it takes is 20 minutes of unprotected skin for you to unfortunately uh, get sunburned. And unfortunately, I learned my lesson earlier in the week. High pressure. First role it's going to serve is bring in the warmth from the southwest here over the next two days. The second thing it's going to do is prevent any rain from getting closer to us until Tuesday. Three day zone forecast for the NRV showing unseasonable warmth for the next two days. 69 the high Tuesday with scattered showers and storms. Very similar looks to the forecast for the highlands the next three days, pushing 90 degrees in south side, especially by Monday. But there's that front bringing in the better chance for showers and storms Tuesday. And then beyond that, a little sliver of cooler air from that blizzard is going to make its way in our area. No, we're not going to see a blizzard, but we will see some cooler air as we approach the later part of the week. We'll keep you posted as to whether or not that means any frost in our area over the course of the week. That'll be on WSLS.com and on your local weather authority app. But there you have it. But today or tomorrow, excuse me, in Monday, 80 to 85 in the mountains, 85 to 90 elsewhere. There's your shower and storm chance Tuesday. Beyond that, things start to turn drier and at least a little bit cooler. It's not going to be as brutal as what we've seen recently, but breezy and cooler with highs in the 50s and 60s Wednesday and Thursday and then warming up a little bit more during the final two days of the month.